Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Outlast 2. Previously, we entered this spooky town, where everyone turned out to be really rude and weird. Something here. Jessica and Lynn. They look very we... similar. Wait. Oh, fuck. I'm back in the fourth grade. And here I thought this couldn't get any worse. Are they twins, or are they... Just very undistinct models. Locked. Oh, jammed. As it says. Yeah, that makes it harder to see, ironically. Someone's there. Me? Do I want to meet you? Hello? I'm once again stuck in the past in the form of a very traumatic memory. No. Bad. I think that's me. Seem about the right build. Open door. Snow. Can't see too well. We just need to use up the uh, night vision. There's a lot of excuses to burn your batteries in this game. <laughs> Almost arbitrarily. I keep pulling the trail. Um, thank you, Spectral Gate. Ah! Uh, I'm back in the real world. You're him, ain't you? The outsider. Friendly? No, thought they killed you, didn't they? No. Not yet. Well, they'll do it if they find you out here. Come on. Not Who sure I should trust you. My name's Ethan. But I mean, Ethan Hawk. Are you one of them? And which side are you on? Then why ain't I trying to kill you? I've been unborn. Seen too much to keep the faith. But you're not one of those other ones. The, the, the heretics. Didn't say squat when my wife got skull. Had to get cast out. Didn't complain when not. Dressed himself for my enemy. And she not but 15. I'm sorry. But when he said my grandson, baby he put in her, was my the Antichrist, and I had to slit her belly and kill the child. Definitely no good guys in this story. Gave her a chance to run. Spun them in here some stories. I've been gifted with talk my whole life. You probably noticed. Jane Doe. Sorry. Your daughter. She was eight months pregnant. Blonde hair, cut like a boy's. Yeah. Well, what do you know? You seen her? You're not That's why like what we happened. came here. Is she all right? Please, Mister, just tell me she's okay. She's fine. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. And God bless you. Come on. Get you inside. I'm not sure if that's going to come back to haunt me. But I'll trust you, main character. Oh, boy. Ah. Oh, hey there. You really busted your head open, didn't you? I'll be okay. I... I should head down the roof, sir. I'll be down there. You can hide. Get it fixed up. Please do not be a trap. I'll trust you, complete stranger. Hopefully. It's alright. You just relax here, I'll keep you safe. You rest up and heal. Ethan's gonna treat you right. 
I really hope that's true. We're fully healed, and we can't carry any more, so... That's that. I wonder what the battery cap is. Not much we can do but take a nap. I'm not sure if this is the right time. Ethan. That's the one that's been hunting me of the cross. I got at him a hundred times. If I knew where the outsider was. Prophet don't need your help in finding the devil's whore and her up me. No questions even now, other heretics at chapel. God will guide. Ethan. You need to get out of here. People are somewhat half sane, never survive. We need to leave. I hope you find your daughter. Well, they consume my battery so fast. Ethan? You didn't give me up to her. Not even though she... Thank you. Fantastic! Look a note. Paul, you gotta tell Papa that Anna Lee was sick, and that's her truth. She's gone to live with her mom on the rest of the Scald. She was horrible afflicted and her injury is too dull for her examination. And I just sent her off because it was all I could do. You got to know, I wouldn't have done it if there was any other choice because I love that girl more than my life or anything else. And I don't know why Papa Knopf would think I was lying. But you got to convince him the truth. God love you. Your cousin Ethan. Later, Ethan. See, we have three batteries, three bandages. Exactly, wow. So I'm not sure what to call you. You're, our, you're basically our current nemesis of this game. So I'm just gonna call you Crossbearer, or Crazy Crosswoman for short. Not detecting anybody in the microphone. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna look over here. Does this seem to be anything? 
Get my bearings around the place. We seem to be on a river. Oh god, is she gonna like pop out of the river? Chains. This music really bothers me. Let's see... Yeah, we gotta go down the river. That was barred off. So we can dive. We got company. But it is joyous. We are in the sorrows of a travailing woman. From this arbor is a place of the breaking forth. Going under the water. Hopefully I surface in a good place. We're not gonna surface in a good place at this rate. Oh god. I'm running out of air. I apparently can go a long time without breathing though. No, we need to breathe. Just at the right time. Safe ground right here. So that's the entrance we went around. Yeah, that doesn't seem like just using the camera in general. It drains much, if any, battery. So there's not too much advantage of putting it down. Oh, we got something. Christ. Oh, Christ, I have nothing to do with this. Heretics. Quite possibly. Yep. Oh look, they uh they had a nice little campfire. A couple of old folks just sitting down by the chair rocking putting down a couple of beers. While they cook a little old fashioned barbecue. Yep, old fashioned barbecue. Good old fashioned American pastime over there. Mm-hmm. We got company. Those who rebelled against our God shall fall. Their infants dashed to pieces all. Their women with child shall be ripped up. Shall be ripped up. Hello? Crazy cross lady. Oh, we got coming in the rear, too. Where? Is there a fence? Right there. Going in. Sorry, buddy. You didn't make it. Oh, God. Something's nearby. Keep moving. Should move a little faster. The longer we're here, the more battery we're gonna drain. Just take a quick peek out of morbid curiosity. That's not good, we're leaving. Duck, I'm getting turned around. Okay, let's stick to the left. Seems a pretty good area. I no, I can't use that rock to hop over the fence with a running jump. That'd be too easy. <laughs> Batteries. Gotcha. Keep going around. 
Okay. We go this way. Keep hugging the sides. They only see the patrols close to the sides. Not sure where my goal is right now. Right here. Here we go. This seems awfully familiar from the demo. Left or right? Oh god. Maybe I should go to the left after all. Looks like you're friendly. Somewhat. Especially since you're not armed. I'm gonna assume you... ...just wanna be left alone. So I'm just gonna make my way over here. I'm standing in the light. That's not a good thing. But I much prefer taking the high ground. Get moving this way. <laughs> Can't open that door. Oh god. Just give me some more batteries. Wait, can we open a window? No. We can only hide back here. Come to the shelter, safe retreat. Hide you. Maybe there's a way through the barn. You clearly have a weapon. <laughs> Bombers me a little bit. Are you gonna pursue me after? Just enough to get in. That's all we need. We got company. He ain't friendly company either. He ain't coming here to offer me a fruitcake, if you know what I mean. Can I hide in this? Yeah. They're coming this way, so they're coming that way. Oh god, they're coming back. They're coming back. We're trapped. Like a rat. Oh god. Shh. I'll take a peek. I'm gonna... Start making movements here. Rather than just staying here and dying. Go in now. Don't grab my leg. Okay. You didn't do that cliche. It's good. Now what? Over here? It's all right. It's all right. Slip in for the barn. Let's see, January seventh. Three more were sent today to live among the s skull. Their sores too floored to disguise. 
They had seven children between them, all of whom Papa Noff was sent with the others into the foster care. Has sent. I now have more than 40 orphans under my wing who love me desperately, as only one can... As only can a child abandon by the parents they fought were as natural and dependable as the fact as a rising sun. And I love them, as I will never leave child have children of my own and have so much love to give. When God leaves them too, I will be there with comfort and guidance. What do these dreams mean? I'm going to use a new battery pretty bad. Oh no. There's the the, the Freddy Krueger the demo as it was kind of notorious. Easy. No. Back up, back up. Okay, so that's not scripted. When you have to balance yourself on these things, you actually have to balance yourself. Remember that for next time. We have company. I've been spotted. Oh god! Ah! Uh. Stuck in the grime. Let's get out of here. We still got the chance. It's one of a scarecrow. Good way to save and actually make you one though. Hey, it's recycling in a way. Get hiding that. Mary. Soul of Christ, make me ready. Father Noff, guide my salvation. Blood of Christ, let me drink your wine. By the severed eye, give me vision. Angels of God, lend me your sword. King, kind Jesus, hear my prayer. Heal me in your wounds. Keep me close to you. Defend me from a wicked world and ready me for the devil's hour. In the fellowship of the temple gate, that I might defend your creation until you give me rest. Amen. Yeah, I need a light. Not much I can do about it. I'm gonna try to stretch this battery life out as long as I can right now. This is a pretty long stretch. Ah! Not again. What the fuck was that? I mean, the birds are paralyzed or killed anyway. Battery? My god, everyone seemed to have dropped their batteries with their flashlights. More birds. Everywhere. I don't seem to have any. Enemies here. Come on, up there. Here we go. Do a little bit of climbing. A little bit of climbing. My body's definitely looking worse for wear. How you did that jump with the camera in one hand, I don't know, but you know. Good for you. Huh. 
There's another battery eating section. Yep. So far this game hasn't been that bad. It's recording, there it is. It's been interesting. The the opening is not as strong as the original Outlast. And there's less inherent chaos, chaotic kind of unsafety feel. Um, I'm getting very much like strong Resident Evil 4 vibes with this opening. Cheers. No, no. Some kind of Heretics. Heretic temple. There you go. Well, don't, well, don't go, go real with this battery full of this slot. You... No, surprisingly. More skulls for the skull shown. Blood for the blood <coughs> god. Okay. I think I'm trapped up chains tied to the trees. Down to practically becoming one of the trees. Move a little faster. Barry's raining fast. Hello? No. Lynn? No. Or somewhere in person. Wait, that's Jessica. Gone. Keep going. Just keep going. There's a light down there. Oh yeah, I got lots of all right. Well, we we need to get another... F what, you have a flashlight but no batteries? The chapel. Somebody there will know where they've taken Lynn. I have a feeling based on how many batteries I have at the moment. Depends on how many sometimes spawn. It's like, oh, you got too many batteries. Don't spawn any. Get on this path. Night vision the game. I feel like th this game is a little too dark. It might sound weird for a horror game. But I'm not sure if I remember the original Outlast being this dark constantly. Maybe it'll change. Maybe it'll change. Because we are constantly outside. What? I hear noise. <gasps> You're not detecting anything in the microphone, though. Battery. Nice. More children's dolls, children's heads. A big one right there. Fresh corpse. Freshly skinned. More children are dead. Knopf says there is no sin in such infanticide as all our soldiers in God's army. Martyrs fallen on the field in defiance of the Archfiend. 
All those babies with slit throats, charred flesh will be waiting immaculate for us in paradise. Habanov also says that our sins find us in our dreams. Our sins find us in our dreams. But my dreams are nothing but the murder of my children. And I wake laughing and aroused, and often wet with the involuntary lust of sleep. I woke this morning thinking I was wetted with the blood of a child's slit throat, but it was a wetness of my own making. The others are having similar dreams. We have dug a tunnel so we may meet in secret. We gather and share our visions and wonder at their meaning. I feel increasingly this is a message, but nothing holy. So, so Sanesh has infected everybody. Yeah, I see. But in all realism, uh... I'm wondering if there's this could be some twist like everyone's been administered some kind of hyper hyper libido psychotropic drugs to help with the cult aspect. And this has caused some backfiring to create a heretic cult. Aside from everyone going crazy and murderous. I am not sure if you are fully dead. So the light might be triggering a kind of guilt. It makes you face your sins, per se. That's what I'm maybe wondering. Some objects can be pushed and blocked for, from access. Like that one there. Do I want to block access? Or is this just trying to show me, like, how this works? I think it's just a way for you to explain the mechanic for later. When this game goes all Call of Cthulhu. Let's see, Solomon, Papa, Ezekiel, and Liar, Charlton. Temple to Gout, Anadek, Coward, Rapist, Child Killer. I am gone and have taken with me all of the courage to see the truth. Come after us, hunt us down. We are waiting and eager to murder and fuck everybody you sent up the mountain. <laughs> okay. I don't hate you. Could Jesus hate the Baptist for being a Jew? I could not have found my true vision without your years of ignorance and bullshit. I could have never had the courage to seek the truth if not fueled by my anger at your lies. Your God is a child superstition, your favor is an embarrassment. The signs of the true father were before you, before us all, and you, let's see, ring glorious, gullible, too stupid to draw beneath you, the visions were punishment from an angry and ominous god. Your god is afraid because your god is no god at all. Your god is your own. Ego, vulnerable and false, an embarrassment. My god is no god at all, but he is true, and he is here in every moment of ecstasy, and his child will fucking tear this world to everlasting glory. I do not ask that you join us. I tell you, you will join us. Because our love is greater than you can ever imagine, Val. So I was right, Val is the counterforce. Where are you going, Buckaroo? Battery? No. See, that's my point. There's a radio there. Battery spawn. Get the elevator working again. At radios and flashlights. So clearly they, they're, they're spawning it, based on like my battery usage. Power's cut off. They've got to have a generator or something. The fucking thing doesn't run on prayers. <laughs> You'd be surprised. We have discovered power energy. Well, does that work? We poke at it really hard. In case we save things. Mainly the poking seems to be the working part. Close that behind me. Just in case we have company. See, there's another radio. Another potential battery spawning place. Escape route.
Ah, it's blinding. What was the point of this section? A place to hide? I guess. But no, here we go. No bother. Picking up a radio, but not picking up any people. It's not a good or a bad thing. Let's pick up the pace in a little bit. The longer we dawdle, the more batteries we're going to use. Hi, buddy. Okay. I probably could have done that with the other house, coming from that door. Oh, God, there's bodies everywhere. Lamentations. I'll check this in here. It's more of this stuff. Like I said, if you for this type of stuff, if you want to freeze and read it, you can. So many. Dolls everywhere. But it is joyous all for we are in the sorrow. Actually, no, that might be a person on a radio. Take it slow. Not will redeem us from death. For even redemption cannot be hid from the split eye. We are robed in the crimson glory of revelation. Let's go in here. <laughs> Going for the window. Anything useful? Finding spots. Area we can maybe flee out of if we get a touch in a pinch. Crosses. Empty children's bunk beds. You know why. I was debating if I could push that. Yes, I can actually seal myself in here. I think we're gonna have a big confrontation where we're gonna have to go throughout the village. Then we find our battery. I foresee this happening. Because it definitely seems like there's a lot of little escape areas, and I don't see any enemies. What the? What? What? I guess I bumped into you, and you just stabbed me. You're not even trying to kill me, you just... there. Damn, I was tunnel visioned. You are in front of me the whole time. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Going in.
Let's go into the back room now. Oh god. I need to leave. Close the door behind me. I'll up the stairs. We're already burning our other battery. And we literally just put this in. I wonder if it's scaled based on our progress. Dear Ningo, go well for these folks. Crank off of the bleach they did. The battery lifespan thing's now actually starting to get a little bit tedious, in my opinion. Like, this is a little bit much. That needs a little bit of a tweak. Power generation station's up that way. Let's do something cocky. Break my legs. And just go for it. There's one there, there's one there. Oh, I did hide in this wrong time. Hello! Ah! Keep going. Well, can't even trust civilians. Close that for now. Sorry, but you might have deserved it. Okay, two bandages used. Quite a bit of batteries used, too. We made some good progress, we were able to brute force this a little bit. Power generator room. Did that thing just zoom across the map? Did they just, like, teleport zoom to, like, keep up with me? I'm pretty sure I just saw that flashlight go shh. I need to talk to you in deepest secret because of your knowing of the unctures and such in medicines. I hope you know I do not trade any more words and stricts. Lean needed, fool. When we make the trip in the damn world for gasoline. And electric coals are never such necessaries as we can't make. I've got something friendly with the public can boy who sells us the pills Papa needs, and when I mentioned them as study aids, the boy laughed and said a body did need penicillin for study unless a body was studded in gash. Have you heard of such things? I do not want to ask Papa for fear I do not know what. But do not want to actually poison him neither. Please come to see me, John. Papa started getting some STDs. Alright, get That's ready. Be it. If I can find my way back to the elevator. Whole place is gonna go light up like a damn. Oh, God. Oh, fuck me. At least you don't actively attack unless I get close. That one time. That I rudely bumped into, and your knife. <laughs> Rejoice. Revel in the ecstasy of the Lord. The sins of Zion are bound up. It seems to be a point that the women don't actively hunt you. They only if you get close do they they defend themselves or attack, depending on you interpret it. So we just need to make it back alive. A little short ah. right here. Ow, oh, my legs. I think the, the battery usage is actually based on movement now. It seems if I if I 
move, it goes down at varying speeds. But if I hold steady and just like read a piece of paper, it stays pretty consistent. Hmm. Interesting, I can't get in here. There's someone over there, definitely. Yep. Yep. Go on the other way. No, no, oh no, I'm dead. This one. This one had windows. Oh, all the houses are locked now. Keep going. Nope, but we're dead. Ugh. If I don't see much of anybody, where am I? Oh, weird. Go this way. Is there a back route, maybe? I just wonder if there's a back route. It's past this building here. Okay. No, no. Oh, no. Go. They're very fast. Don't stop running. Well, we, we when we decide to move it, we can really hoof it if we want to. Close in. What do you want from me? I feel like that one can spot you. Like that's the scripted run character. The other ones are the stealth you can control around characters. That one right there. That one's on the screen somewhere. You don't stealth. Like, they locked a door specifically because of that. Oh, hi. That one is... When they're on, you, you just run. Sullivan Knopf, the modern Ezekiel. The knives sharp for the enemy. It feels memorable like a dream of memory. But not mine. Hello, anyone here? Nope, dead. I like how we're so desensitized to death in this game already. It's just the same thing we commonly accept. Jessica. I've lost it. Heretic, I guess. We should really grab a weapon. No! Sarlacc pit! Great. Oh no. This is from the demo. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I really want to be able to look behind myself. Oh god. Sound like me. I'm scared. 
scared of what? Lockers? A little bored. Habsburgs? Unicorn and stuff. Music box. Thanks, I need that. Just as you seem to drag my battery power. Snowing outside. That battery power use is definitely related to movement. If you're hauling butt with this thing, they uh just drain the battery. You know, she gave me the option to hide. That's very comforting. Jammed. Here we go. Can we check the other side? Locked also. Nowhere. Everything's jammed. I don't hear any noses. Hey! Jessica. Jessica? What are you running from? Oh god. What noise? Yes! Black stuff on top. Oh god. Fuck. You don't want to be grabbed by the abyss. Keep moving. No! Ugh. Jump over! Woe to the bloody city! Don't time to start looking at things. I keep moving. Bandage. Thank you. Going down. Whew, it's right behind me. They're right behind me. God, call my bill. Like a snake. Oh, there's more than one. Going to the right. Making a complete U-turn. Slowest pace chase ever. Lock it. Keep moving. You don't have much time. You'll be in the fire. Woe to the bloody city. Her scum. She'll be in the fire. No, I ain't going to no fire. Okay. Okay. We need to keep moving. Children's dolls. Okay, it is locked. Whoa to the bloody city. Now where? Yeah, 
to go. We gotta get around him. I was supposed to hide under the bed, but I'm on the wrong side. I'm a box. I'm a box. Oh, my box. I'm, I'm a box being cut open right now. Wings with jaws inseparably inside. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. You're too slow. I'm dead. Oh god. Ah, I was supposed to stealth down there and push it out of the way. Here's the proper way to do it before I ran away and got stuck in a corner. One down below, too. So you open this. We can hide in here. We can also push this to block the door. But I don't think that's our true goal, because we do have to get down below. Ain't nobody here. Some person trapped in the closet. Oh, great. Oh, this is this peaking. We can lock that door. We can also block it off. Coming back. Keep the door open for a second. I need to be able to see where that flashlight is going. Shh, careful. They're coming this way. Coming this way. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's that? What's that, Mr. Spooky? Spooky bald man? I can't seem to find me because I'm like a Looney Tunes character? Well, that's my specialty. What's this? What's this? Oh! Fast sneak behind you. Okay, now that one comes up. We're gonna do the same thing. We need to shift hiding spots quicker. Oh God, if you're looking towards me, right there. There's only one hiding spot down there. this. Can we lock it? Yes. Now buy us some time. Not much time. Apparently no time. Because they stopped me from pushing it any further. Down to the bed again. <laughs> so I wasn't sure if it was a fit for that gap, or if it was a little bit of a bug there, where it stopped us pushing and they, the context for it kind of went away. But we'll be back down there soon enough. Give it enough time. Let's give it enough time. 
one pair of legs. Where's your friend? This is some Tom and Jerry stuff here now. It's not even scary anymore now, it's just Tom and Jerry. Yes, don't check under the only bed in the room. They might actually do that. They might actually do that. The legs are getting closer. Wait a little more. Go. Boy, they chopped that down fast. Why can't I interact with this anymore? Ah, no, you're supposed to push it this way. Just enough to squeeze through this gap. Yeah, it's a secret door. It actually went backwards. Quirky. This poor person can't do much for him, gotta keep moving. Gotta push this out of the way. Let's just be the wrong way again. Yeah, that's that guaranteed battery. The chapel. Somebody there will know where they've taken Lynn. The fuck is this? Be the ah, best. Shit. Just keep moving, buddy. Don't look down, but I will for you. Specifically, it's actually the bomb of the well. God knows what I've done, and he forces my eyes on when I'm weak and when I'm scared. It was not my fault that Judah could not swim, nor the lust he felt for me. I would have saved him had I the strength. I do not doubt you, God, but please spare me the suffering of such forced dreams even when I do not sleep. I cannot keep watching him drown. Accept my death as penance, as I am newly heavy with Papanov's child and racked with pains such as I have never known. Surely the infant in my womb must be the arch fiend for the affliction of nightmares and agonies that fill and surround me. I am yours. Have none of you ever been pregnant? Well, you've been convinced of some real Kool-Aid. I'm afraid I didn't have bands in my belly. It must be the work of the devil. Essentially. <laughs> Locked, of course. 